Hello, I'm Caitlin Allen, here with Tommy Collins, and this is Tiger Nation News. Today on TNN 12, we bring you news about the $117 million Pro Football Hall of Fame construction happening in Stark County, Ohio, and the concerning issues of a national staffing shortage across the globe, only here on TNN 12. The Hall of Fame has begun construction on a new project in North Canton, Ohio. The new construction includes a football-themed water park with a connected hotel. This 147,000 square foot water park will include high thrill rides like indoor and outdoor slides, football themed decorations, and more. Here we have on-site reporter Braden Geyer to share some more information. Thank you, Kaylin. Here behind me I have the Pro Football Hall of Fame. So far, Hall of Fame Resort and Entertainment Co. has built the Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium, Forever Lawn Sports Complex, the biggest dome facility in the country, and a play action plaza. The $117 million water park is just phase one of this three-phase, $600 million construction as they plan to create a seven-story hotel, fan engagement zone, and this spectacular football-themed water park, all to come in the Hall of Fame Village. Back to you in the studio. Over the past year, schools worldwide have been experiencing staffing issues ranging from substitute teachers, cooks, aides, and bus drivers. Today we have Kayla Collins joining us from Maslin Washington High School to tell us more about staffing issues. Hi, I'm Calix Collins reporting live outside of Maslin Washington High School, where this school and many others across the world have been experiencing strong difficulty with maintaining staff at these schools. The staffing issues that we're currently facing, what worries me most, is the day-to-day -day operation for instruction for kids. When the teacher is out and we have to send students to a study hall, we have to send them to the cafeteria, we have to send them to the media center, what we are basically doing is shortchanging education and, and, and the students are not getting what they're normally used to from the professional educator that's typically there. Maslin Washington High School's principal describes the short supply of staffing throughout Maslin. Schools all over America are facing challenges each week scrambling to find staff members. As a result, states have been making it increasingly easier to hire new teachers. For example, Ohio has introduced a bill that will allow veterans to become a teacher without a bachelor's degree or even a teaching license, meeting the following criteria in order to be a teacher. What are the solutions to the staffing issues and the national teacher shortage? I think it is going to be, have to be a shift in the perception of educators. That's Wendy Snodgrass, one of Maslin's Education Associate members, describing the struggle she faces every day as a teacher. You get Christmas off and you get this off, but what they don't see is the other side of education. So, like, even though the day ends at 2.20, my day still has three more hours of work to go along with that. So it, there needs to be a public perception in the change on the amount of time teachers put in to then directly affect how much teachers get paid and are valued. But it's not just schools that are facing this problem. Massive corporations such as General RV Center, the largest family-owned RV dealer, has been struggling to maintain enough people to efficiently run their business. America's big and small businesses are struggling to keep workers. Earlier we spoke with Mike Schonk, the assistant service manager at General RV in Ohio, to discuss how this problem has impacted this company. The staffing shortages currently have impacted General RV on multiple fronts. Uh, first is getting enough staff to help our customers. Um, not having enough staff members limits the amount of volume that we can bring in, which then delays the process of customers coming in for service. Also impacts our team as our team members are asked to take on more and more with the less staff that we have. Um, it puts added stress on them, which in turn uh, causes higher turnover than normal. That insightful interview from Mike Schock describes the terrors of staffing and shows that everywhere ranging from schools to top businesses are all facing this national issue. Thank you for watching TNN 12. I'm Tommy, here with Caitlin, and we'll see you next time.